Hello, I'm Yao Yao, a lowly disciple of the Adeptus Streetwear Rambler. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. If you encounter any difficulties outdoors, then let me help you. Oh, by the way, I brought some fried radish balls with me. Help yourself. Don't eat too many, though. Too much oily stuff is hard work for your body. If you're still hungry, I also brought a freshly washed radish and some vinegar. So I could make you a shredded radish salad if you want. Don't put off until tomorrow what you can do today. Come on, let's get a move on. Ooh, what's happening over there? Can we take a sneaky peek? Huh? Can we? Why do so many people make such a big deal out of seeking the Adepti? There's Adepti everywhere, isn't there? Hey, can you hear the frogs croaking? <laughs> Silly frogs. They're singing along to the sound of the rain. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Uh, wah! Uh, uh, I, I'll cover your ears for you. And, and if you're, you're scared, you can hold my hand. It's snowing. Yay! Oh, first things first. You have to wrap up warm. Put your big fluffy coat on. Uh-huh, and your woolly hat and scarf. Yep. Ah, uh -uh. don't forget your gloves. Good. All right. Let's go build a snowman. The weather's so nice. Let's go have a walk around the harbor. Ooh, it's getting windy. Be careful not to get blown away. Time to get up. Your breakfast is ready, so you'd better hurry. Uh, huh? You still want to snooze a while? Well, okay, but five minutes and that's all, okay? Five minutes and I'll be back to wake you up again. <sighs> I knew I should have sent you to bed earlier. Now, don't forget, you don't want to nap right away after a big lunch, but you also mustn't go racing off on an adventure. You gotta wait for your food to go down or you'll get a tummy ache. Huh? You're going out again tonight? Hmm. What time do you plan on getting back? <sighs> well, it's dark out, so be really careful. Time for your bedtime story. Now, where did we get to last? <sighs> oh, time. <clears throat> ah, yes. <clears throat> Ever since ancient times, the mighty and illuminated Adepti have protected Liyue against evil. Among them... The... <laughs> you know the docks in Liyue Harbor? There's always loads of people talking, shouting, laughing. It's great! Totally different from back home. It's so quiet there. You can hear the leaves falling on the grass. That's why I go to the docks whenever I'm free. You know, to see the new ships, new sights, and new toys. It's not that I'm lazy. It's just the spear's too long for me. And it's so heavy that training with it is really hard work. Luckily, Master doesn't push me too hard. Osile? Oh, you mean that jumbo-sized octopus from the Sea of Clouds? Uh... Not because I want to eat it or anything, but if you guys wanted to, you should definitely cook it through on the grill first. Oh, uh, wait. I mean, you don't have to grill it, but I just think it would taste better that way. I love finches. Whenever I go to play with Chi-Chi, I look out for them on my way there. And when I find them, I say hi. Yep. Good morning. That's exactly what it means. Well done. You want to know where I'm from? Well, my parents are hermits who live up in the mountains. Uh, I guess you could say that I'm from Chingsa Village. It is said that joy hides just beyond the horizon, and bliss is as fleeting as the setting sun. So, whenever I notice anything fun going on, I always got to go check it out. And you never know. Maybe I'll find something I can help with. Oh, spear training is really kind of boring. Maybe I'll go play with Yuagui for a little bit and come back and do some more training after I've had a break. 
Drinks a stir fry, come and get it, boiled fish. Lots of Li Yue dishes are not only delicious, they also turn mealtimes into a big event. Hmm? Oh, you like them too? That's great. You'll have to come over for dinner sometime. I'll cook for you. Don't worry, I've helped Xiangling in the kitchen before, so it's safe to say that I come from good stock where food is concerned. One time, Shen He ate too many Qingxin in one go when she was sick for days. And that's why I've got to take care of myself and not eat raw Qingxin. Hmm? How did I know about that? Auntie Cloud Retainer told me. This is amazing! It tastes just like Shang Ling's cooking. It's like they say, the apple didn't fall far from the tree. Um, wait, no, a two peas in a pod. You two are like two peas in a pod. <laughs> I'm always mincing up my words when I get too excited. Mm, so tasty. Next time you cook, let me come too. I can help. Uh, do you always eat this kind of stuff? Maybe you should let me cook for you instead. If you're not eating well and you're still going out adventuring every day, one of these days you're going to wear yourself out. This is the day of your birth. And as is tradition, this calls for a bowl of longevity noodles. I got Xiang Ling to teach me how to make it. And I managed to put all the noodles in the water without breaking a single one. I also put a big plump egg in there. <laughs> Come on, let's go. You've got to eat it before it goes cold. Wishing you a happy, healthy birthday and a long and prosperous life. Huh? Did my spear just get lighter? It'd be great if it could get a little shorter, too. Wow! I might even be able to lift Shunling's spear now. Yay! Oh, I really want to tell Master the good news. You, Gray, you're up. <laughs> Stay put. Don't be scared. Ready, go! Pain, pain, go away! Go get him, you Gray. Pack everything up nice and carefully. Don't drop anything. Here you go. I packed it all into a bag for you. Wow. These will last us for days. Uh-oh. Gotta keep going. It's okay, I'm fine. Come to Yao Yao. Life is a gift. Don't throw it away. Uh, I can't look after you anymore. Sorry, Master. Spear getting heavy. Ouch, that hurt real bad. <laughs> I'll take good care of everyone. I'll lead the way. Follow me. Don't fear, Yao Yao's here. 